rose, he stretched forth his hands, and the purpose of stretching forth his hand was to vex Satan of the church. So there are times when Satan stretches forth his hands to vex people in the house of God. I'm still in one now. I'm still in one. Before I came here. But you must have sunk. Oh, let me, let me. How did it start? Went to preach in Cameroon. The hand of God. You know, God is the one that normally starts this thing. So, <laughs> Hand of God was strong. All kinds of things were taking place. And my hotel room was overlooking the Atlantic Ocean. Right? So they felt, oh, you like this view. I said, if you are a spiritual man, you will know that the reason why you were kept there is for warfare. When I came back, I, you, you may not believe something, so no need for me to go into those details. I have a gift. I'm a seer. All right? So when I came back from the crusade the second night, there were spirits that were suspended on the water, trying to gain entrance into my room. But they couldn't come to land. And I was asking God, open my eyes so that I will see what is restraining these wicked spirits. Because while we were on the crusade, but the power of God came upon the lady and the demon began to speak. Said all kinds of things that you are dead. You are even right now you are dead. <laughs> Normally, what happens is when they say that I laugh. <laughs> first, that is I generate laughter first. That's my first reaction. And that thing, please, anything that is talking, the thing will stop talking. Then I cast it out. So they, they promised that they were going to keep me. I went back to my room and I saw spirits suspended on the water. So when I asked God to open my eyes, I now saw the angel that was restraining them. Oh, you might not know how real the spirit world is. It's more real than this one. This one cannot, it can last forever. Even if you leave it by itself and there's no Ukraine war, this one will disintegrate by itself. Because God never built this civilization on true foundations. He built it on water. If you know anything about civil engineering, uh, uh, <laughs> you need dry land, table land, to build anything that will last. If you are going to reclaim land, there's a possibility that the water will... He built this one on water. That's why if you dig deep enough, you'll find water. It's a civil engineering flaw that suggests that this civilization is not a continuing country. I saw the powers of the kingdom of light restraining those forces. And they were there till 3 a.m. Oh, many of you will go out and do something, maybe pray for some people, and then you come sleep. That's not how it is done. When you finish praying for people, you come out. Don't sleep earlier than 2 a.m. I'm telling you the way of the warrior. Because where our ministry is, is where witchcraft, rich, witchcraft is the culture. You know people have culture? The culture of where our ministry is, the people, is witchcraft. So I can tell you a thing or two about how to position yourself for victory. If you are still with me, say amen. amen. So we finished from Cameroon and came back home. And I started feeling the atmosphere was tense. I knew that Satan was trying to. Uh, and when you feel that the atmosphere is tense, what you do is drink prayer like water. Drink it on the streets. Drink it in the office. Leave your deck sometimes. Go to the restroom and... It's a mocha. <laughs> if after two days you still feel that the darkness is around, call your friends that are intercessors too to join forces with you. That's how we do this thing. Don't ever stand alone. If you go beyond two days and it's not going, reach out. It means that... Um, the, the warfare is forged by a conclave. There, there's more than one person involved. So you will need more than one person in the solution. So we started praying, all kinds of prayer. Before I started the trip to Abuja, we had prayed for seven hours. Yes, we had prayed for seven hours and there was a release. So when I woke up in the morning, there was a little danger. Then it left. That means something will happen, but... Is not a significant thing. I said, let's go to Abuja. 
So while we're now going on the way to Abuja to take the flight to come to London, a tanker that was full of petrol, 40,000 liters, now the brake failed and it was a slope. So he didn't need the running engine to kill us. The reason why I'm alive today is because God sent his angel and he, he used, the tanker used us to, to stop with that weight. He used, my bends was what stopped the tanker. So the physical way of explaining why we are still alive phys physically is that we had luggage in the boot. So the luggage, the thing couldn't break. That's the physical way, but I know the spiritual side. Let me ask you, we prayed for seven hours. How come the tanker still, because it was orchestrated from the realm of the spirit, all right? And then the reason why, meanwhile, Satan did not arrange that just to bash my car. I hope you know. <laughs> that was not the intention. <laughs> that was not the intention. He arranged it. The vengeance was strong. My wife was at the back. Pastor Philip was at the back. Um, my wife's PA at the back. My daughter at the back. I was sitting in the front. Then the driver was this way. So imagine. Meanwhile, in our own intercession at home, one of our people at home saw three graves. He said, Pastor, I see three graves. Fresh. And there were three people at the back. It was already, it was already sealed in the spirit realm. A day before I traveled, the voice of the Lord came to me and said, send, I, I know most of you don't know what Naira is. It's a kind of money. All right? <laughs> <coughs> the Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost came and he said, send one million Naira to your father-in-law. So I, I said, so when the crash took place and I came out of the car, he said, this is why I asked you to send one million Naira to your father-in-law. I said, I don't understand. Then he now quoted that scripture. Honor your father and your mother. Yeah. That your days may be long. So if... <laughs> you are not with me. So, so, you mean if I didn't send that money? That was the principle God was activating. That was what he activated to provide the infrastructure for my deliverance. It was in that scripture and obeying the voice of God. So if we are talking about migrating from a season of darkness, I assure you I know a little about it. And that's not the first accident I've had. I've had worse accidents. Sometimes you, you drive the car Thereafter, like a bicycle. <laughs> are you still with me? <laughs> I say, if you are still with me, say, Amen. Amen. That's a sign. A sign that darkness, untimely death. When you begin to see it around, don't sleep. Wake up. So he killed James. And then the second sign is captivity, unreasonable captivity. 